Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today with the next conversion, we've seen converting S or flip flop to others. Today, let's see, we deal with converting J K flip flop to other flip flops. So right. So um, number one, let's say converting J K flip flop to S R flip flop to S R. Now uh, you know. That the that the available flip flop in this case is your JK converting JK flip flop to the required flip flop is the SR flip flop, which means now you have to draw the excitation table for JK flip flop, which I already have drawn over here, where this is your J and this is your K. All right. Now you have to draw the characteristic table for the SR flip flop, which means we have QN, we have S, and we have R, and the output is uh, it wasn't a straight line. The output is what? The output is QN plus one. All right. So the input combinations. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. And this. You know this, okay? We have 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 input combinations. Now, the next 8, so let me copy it from the book. We have 001x, 001x, and we have a. 0, 1, uh, no, sorry, 1, 0, 1, x. 1, 0, 1, x. So this is now the characteristic table. Now out of this characteristic table, we make the combinational table. All right, which means that now we have to include the required inputs, that is S and R. And now we match the QN and QN plus 1 from the, from the characteristic table of the required flip-flop with the excitation table of the available flip-flop. Which means now if QN and QN plus 1 both are 0, 0, we have J and K. Sorry, we don't have SR over here, we have J and K over here. Alright, so this is J and this is K. Now you have 0, 0. So you have J at 0 and K as a don't care. You have a 0, 1. Uh, no, again it's 0, 0, okay? So 0 and don't care again. Now 0, 1. So for 0, 1, you have what? Uh, for 0, 1, you have a 1, don't care. The next is 0, don't care. So if you have a 0, don't care, such a condition where you don't have something over here as 0 don't care in the QN and QN plus 1 so at such a situation you place a don't care at both the positions fine now for 1 1 you have 1 1 so it's a don't care 0 1 0 don't care 1 1 1 don't care 0 and one don't care, so again you don't have it over here, one don't care, so you place a don't care at both the positions. Alright, the next step, what is the next step? It is to find the values of J and K from Carnot maps, alright? So let's say I draw it over here, so we'll be having an 8 cells map. This would be QN. This would be S and R, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 0, 1. Now you fill them for J. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and the rest are don't cares. All right. So now we can have what? We can have a group of four ones from here, like this. All right, and this represents the table for, this is for J. So J is equal to QN is changing and R is also changing, so J is equal to S, simply. 
And then for k, so for k, where should I? Oh, right, right over here, okay? With the green pin. So fill it for k now. We have four don't cares. The first four don't cares, and then we have zero, one, zero, and a don't care. Now, again, a group of four ones could be placed like this. Fine. And you have what? You have uh, this uh, K is equal to R. Fine. So simple it is, okay? Let me draw it over here. If this is your S, this is your R, this is your clock pulse, you have the output Q, you have the output Q complement. Now, to use it as a JK flip-flop, simply, simply provide at the S position, provide a J, and at the K, R position, provide a K. This will work as what? This will work as JK flip-flop. The next in order is converting JK flip-flop to, let's say, D flip-flop. So, for that, we have to remove all of this. Okay, JK to D flip-flop. The required is, the required is D. So you have to make the characteristic table for D now. Okay, and I forgot to remove this. And the characteristic table of D is so simple. It is just equal to the value of D. The next state is just equal to the value of D, right? So you have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So it will be 0, 1, 0, 1. It's equal to D, all right? Now, modifying it again, introducing J and K, making it a combinational table. This is J, this is K. Now, when both of them are 0, so you have a 0, don't care. 0, 1, you have a 1, don't care. 1, 0, you have a don't care 1. And you have a 1, 1, so you have a don't care 0. This is now the combinational table. Now we solve it for, for J and for K with the help of what? With the help of K maps. So let's say this is for J over here. This is... Qn, this is D, 0, 1, 0, 1. And similarly over here, Qn, D, 0, 1, 0, and 1. Now if you fill it, so you have a 0, 1, and don't care, don't care. 0, 1, don't care, and don't care. Which means now the value of J would be equal to what? You have this only one group like this. And this is equal to D. J is simply equal to D. Because Q, uh, N is changing. And then for the next you have, don't care, don't care, 1 and 0. Now we can have this group. Which means that K is now equal to Q, uh, uh, D complement. K is equal to D complement. All right, so now the available flip-flop is, the available flip-flop is J, K flip-flop, the clock pulse, the output QN, and the complement of the output. Now J is equal to D, so you provide it at D directly over here. Fine, and K is D complement, so you provide it a complemented D. Now this circuit, the, this, with the help of JK, we can have the operation of the D flip-flop. The next in line is converting JK to D flip to T flip-flop, all right? So I remove this. So now, 
uh, to T flip flop. Converting JK to T flip flop. The, they require uh, the T flip flop, so you have to draw the characteristic table for it. And the characteristic table you have the the next state as zero one one zero. All right, so I've drawn the characteristic table. If you don't know how to make them, so you need to you need to watch the previous videos in the playlist about about the detail flip flops. So like we I have already explained SR flip flop in a great detail, JKT, how to obtain these tables. At this particular level, I'm assuming that you understand what a characteristic table is and how to make it, and you know what it is. This is it. Now you match them over here. So Q, when it's a zero zero, you have uh, a zero x. You have a zero one, so one don't care. One one, so you have a don't care zero, and finally one zero, so you have a don't care one. Now you simplify it again for J and for K. QN and this is T over here now zero one zero one and this is for the other QN and T zero one zero one now if you fill it so you have a zero one don't care don't care zero one don't care don't care and if you fill it for K so you have a don't care don't care zero one now you group them all right so this is the group over here this is for j so j is equal to t directly and k is again equal to t so you have j equal to t you have k equal to t which means you provide a single input t at both the input terminals of the jk flip-flop and now this particular jk flip-flop will be working as what will be working as the t flip-flop so that's converting jk flip-flop and i didn't change the numbers over here so this was number three all right that's all about this video see in the next video where we convert maybe d or t flip-flop till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you Goodbye.